Welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you for tuning in. We are standing at the back of the truck now because it is time to take the bed off and then go up front and take all the front suspension off. So we work on getting the cab off and the measurements uh, on where the cab goes. And because we're cutting the body mounts off, obviously we need to have points on the frame and on the cab where we can measure and go. It sits right here. Um, the reason we're cutting the cab mounts off is obviously we're, uh, we're going to channel the body over the frame, do a body drop of about two inches, and get this thing to sit uh, as it should. And actually, there's a drawing on the board that did it, and uh, I can kind of show you about ride height, kind of what we're planning. So let's take a walk over there. All right, here we are at the whiteboard, and uh, pretty much. This is a kind of a drawing of an S10, and uh, we're gonna go through it right now. <laughs> so obviously this is a wheel, so this is ride height. We'd really like this thing to sit about that far off the ground. So sitting real low, that's the front bar. Frame is somewhere in here. Um, this is actually our oil pan. We made sure that the engine is gonna sit high enough up where when this thing comes down from doing a wheelie and I smack this thing down, it will never hit the oil pan. It'll tear everything else up, but I won't hit the oil pan. I will not have to run over my own oil. We're going to we're gonna be safe about that. The back of the truck is a little bit different. Pretty much, um, based on this drawing, kind of what we decided is this thing's getting cut at the back of the cab. And we are going to build our own little back chassis area because all it has to do is support the bed and rear suspension. There's nothing back here that really matters. Um, obviously, bars through. We got our cage done. Uh, not going to be a funny car cage, mainly because I do want to drive this thing on the street. And quite frankly, I don't feel comfortable um, driving a car on the street with a funny car cage because I don't trust enough people to be paying attention. And I don't feel like... Uh, in some weird circumstance, I don't feel like hitting my head off bars. Um, really, really not into that if I can avoid it. Um, not my thing. But if you do drive around the street with a funny car cage, good for you. You trust people more than I do, maybe. And I understand. I, I understand. They're not supposed to be that close to your head. Blah, blah. I get it. I just weird freak incidences. You never know what's going to happen. So... This video, taking the bed off, well, getting the bed unbolted because I single-handedly can't get it off, so I gotta wait for people to get here so I can take it off, and taking the whole front suspension off. Center link, all that stuff. So that's the way this thing can get um, put on the table permanently. So I'm gonna stop talking, and I'm gonna get to doing that. All right, so step one in this whole ordeal is uh, taking the tailgate off. And now, this kind of gives you an idea of how tall the cable is. Uh, this is the tailgate. I don't really know how tall I am. I'm definitely not anywhere close to six foot. I might be like five, nine, five, ten. I really don't know. Uh, nowhere close to six foot. And this is the tailgate. There you go, that's how tall this thing is. Um, What's nice is pretty much, if you can imagine the best 10 tailgate, the camera isn't in the best area, but all this is pretty much going to be gone. And it's just going to be two bedsides and a tailgate that are going to do nothing but look pretty. Um, all underneath is going to be tubular, bro. Tubular, bro. Um, all that fun stuff. So, tailgate done. Next is roll pan. Um, because real trucks have a roll pan, not a bumper. Remember that. Now, Now the secret to um, having a roll pan that fits really good on an S10 is uh, make sure you are never, never gonna use the tailgate because the way, how high we had to tuck this roll pan 
um, to get it to fit nicely and look good. Um, tailgate's non-existent, so, you know. Is there a mountain in this? Yeah, there is. So. Uh-oh. Missing things. Right, so this is a whole this is a this is a bigger animal than I expected. Uh, hold on. Maybe I can get to it. I am really gonna consider um, welding these nuts on the back side next time so I don't have to reach in here and uh, grab them. But it's fine. Everything's fine. Seems pretty counterproductive uh, cutting all this weight out uh, because obviously you do want some weight over the rear tires, but it's nothing. It's nothing some lead bars can't fix, uh, especially being a whole tubular uh, back section. Um, I'll be able to weld tabs and create places to add the weight so we can make sure this thing works really good. Um, just because, well, obviously, I want it to work good. Uh, there's, I, I, I don't want to have to have a huge hassle over traction. But uh, there you go. I got my Omar bolt. This rope band is going to come off. And then I gotta crawl underneath and there's actually a bracing under here so then I'm gonna have to crawl underneath but I'll change camera views mainly because this bed has come off too and I gotta unbolt all of that Truck bed is all unbolted from underneath and officially it is officially ready to come off. All the bolts are out. It's ready to come off. So now we get to come up here and we are gonna focus on center link coming out, A arms coming off. This, all of this, this is all coming off. And uh, that's our focus right now. So I'll start tearing into this thing, tearing up up front and uh, getting all this stuff that's uh, unnecessary to have right, right now. Let's get that off.
All right, so that was, uh, some of that was a little bit harder than I expected, but also I gotta look back and go, uh, just cause it was a Texas truck doesn't mean you're not gonna have regular rust and stuff like that. So some things were a little bit harder to take out than others, but got the, got the steering out, except for the steering box that we're gonna leave in only because after we take four inches out of the center, we still want to make sure this isn't in the way of anything and we're not going to screw anything up by taking that out and shortening this, shortening this up a little bit. So, spindles, brake rotors off, A-arms off, steering off, bed is uh, ready to come off. And uh, yeah, like I said, just because it's a Texas truck doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean it didn't want to put the fight, but still, it's a... 80s series s10 and look how clean this thing is i mean you can really you can really take a look at the frame and underneath and of course i've been up in here i've been i've had a cage in here before um i had a mild steel cage pretty much 70 and maybe even 60 percent tacked up and i was like you know what i don't want to deal with this anymore so i cut it all out and now we're going pro molly. So I've had a cage in here before, kind of, sort of. Um, I even had a floor in here at one point in time, but just how this whole deal is going to go. We got a channel, this part of the body, and back here out so it slides over the frame and uh, drops down about two inches. And then I can make different outriggers, start building the cage. And the really, really nice part um, about this is this will all sit on the left. This will all sit on the lift. So I can drop it down, fit a bar, tack it up, lift this thing up, get it up out of the way. And that means I can weld all the way around up here, all the way around on the bars uh, that go out the back. Um, just everything. I will have zero excuses on why things aren't welded. I will have zero excuses on why the tops of the cages and stuff aren't welded because this whole thing's going to be able to come up and come off and uh, give me a lot of room to work. And I'm excited. It's going to make for a really nice cage and a really well done cage. And uh, I'm excited about that. I'm excited to be able to, to provide that kind of product. Super excited. Uh, roll pan is off, tailgate's off. Hanging out right there. This is uh, this is ready to come off, bed's ready to come off. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, next step is whenever I get more people, this gets to come off, go outside, and then kind of make points on the cab like I was saying. So then we can take the cab off, put the cab on the lift, lift it up, and get that out of the way. Um, and then we can start cutting some out of the frame and get going on that. So that's really exciting. So I guess, you know, some of the next steps are we got to take the motor out and things like that. And then we got to true this up on the chassis table. And then cut the center out, slide it together, re-weld it all the way back, tack weld the back. Uh, not final weld the back like we are going to do the front, only because the back, again, is going to get cut out. But to help keep everything up front square, uh, everything in the back is just going to get tacked together so that way it holds nicely. But uh, after the front is all finished and welded, this is just going to get cut off. And then we'll build our own tubular section and do our own suspension areas and things like that because... It's just how we do it. Um, a lot of work, but it's gonna be really sweet when it's done. It's gonna sit like, uh, yeah, like this. This big, heavy ass frame out of here. Um, it's gonna be light. It's gonna be real light. Um, it's gonna be a street car. I'm gonna drive it on the street. It's gonna make quite a bit of horsepower, and it's just, it's gonna be an S10 that is not normal it's gonna be pretty out there and i'm excited to do that um there's a lot of s10s out there this one this one's gonna be different so with that being said i set out to do what i needed to do today 
And then uh, tomorrow, uh, take the bed off, get that out of there, and then do everything that needs to be done so I can take the cab off. So I'm actually going to wrap up this video here. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm super excited to keep going on this thing. Um, I haven't had this amount of enthusiasm on a project since I got the Fairmont back. So just keep chiseling away at this. It's a big project. And uh, obviously working full time and shit like that, uh, this stuff doesn't just happen overnight. And uh, it's going to take some time, but I'm ready for it. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, remember, if you have something that you want to do, you're the only one that's going to be able to do it. No one's going to do it for you. So go out and do the thing because uh, it could change your life a little bit. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.